I'm going to show you how to set up a complete Amazon commission generating store in under five minutes with point and click ease and zero technical skills required. So I've installed the base version of the software and you can see my store is totally empty. So come on along and I'll show you exactly how to fill this up. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to add a new unit in my admin panel. And let's call this unit toys. Let's make the keyword that we're going to search for in Amazon toys and let's choose toys as the category. Now for the user category we can create a new one or if we already have one we can just use that and let's say we want to do three pages worth and we want to auto update this so products will automatically be added and removed as they're changed in the Amazon marketplace. We click fetch product and then all we have to do is save the unit now let's say we want to add some more products. Let's go ahead and let's add some DVDs. So our search keyword is going to be DVD. Our category is going to be DVD. And let's see, let's actually use DVDs from our website as well. And let's do five pages of those. And let's auto update that as well. Let's fetch the products and save the unit. Now let's go ahead and add some more things. Let's add some books and we'll do a keyword search for book. Now you can make this, by the way, as specific as you want. If you wanted to focus on one specific niche, like um, you know mysteries, you could certainly do that and focus your entire website on mysteries, or you could make it all about one particular niche, like you know outdoors things, or lawn and patio, or appliances, or whatever the case may be. You can create anything that you want and you can make it a global site like a superstore with tons of different products or you can focus on one niche with one kind of product or one niche or c category of product like if you just wanted an electronic store or whatever so let's go ahead and take a look actually let's add one more category and let's just do let's see baby Alright, so the keyword search is going to be baby. The category, let's see, if we don't have one for baby, then we'll just do all. And let's see if we have a category here. We do for baby. And let's do three pages of that as well. And we'll set that to auto update. We'll fetch those products. We'll save the unit. Now the next thing we need to do is do view all so we can see all of our units. So everything looks good. All we're going to do is we're going to go down here to auto update and it's going to go ahead and it's going to update and load all of those products for us. This could take a couple of minutes depending but you can see it's done and then we can go check out our product list and we can see all the products that have been added and we can see that they're all active in the store. So now let's go take a look at our store. We see all the pages of product. We have 31 pages of products we just added. So let's go take a look. Remember this was our blank store right here so we refresh the page and boom Okay, there are all our products, but there's something we can do that's even cooler than that. First of all, we can add top menu items for different categories. We've got categories here, and we can also add featured listings. So let's take a quick look at how we do that. So the first thing we want to do is let's add some featured listings. All you have to do is in the column where it says featured, we're just going to click and toggle on the word no and turn it to yes, and you'll see that that is now featured. And let's feature this video game and let's see what else. We'll feature a couple more products here. We want, to, we want to mix it up a little bit and feature some different things. Let's feature this particular game and let's feature this particular book or movie and let's feature this one as well and then let's pick one more. Alright now if we go back to our site and take a look all we've got to do is refresh the page and you'll now see that these are featured products so now you have a featured section that you can feature any of the products you want the general section down here you have a search bar up at the top if customers want to search for particular products and you have your categories across the across the side but let's also say that we want to add some menu items to the top so we just come in here and we go to settings and we go to manage menu items Okay, and now we've got a bunch of menu items here. We can go ahead and add another one. 
and let's see we had one called baby right so let's do baby we'll put it in the top menu and let's scroll down and let's feature it with the baby page and item order let's put it all the way over on the right hand side even though there's only a couple okay and then let's see we also had books so let's add menu item for books put that on the top let's connect that to our books let's make that item number four we'll add that now the one thing is you do need to make sure there's a green check next to it otherwise it will not show up in this case there is okay let's do DVDs and let's put that on the top let's connect that with our DVDs and let's make that number three and then lastly let's add our toys let's put that on the top as well let's connect that with our toys page and let's order that number item number two now if we go back to our site and take a look all we have to do is refresh the page and now you can see all the menu items appear here and if we were to click on any one like toys it's going to give us a list of all the toy products here and if there's an F that means this is a featured product that would also appear featured on the home page now let's say we also want to change our logo and our colors let's see how fast we can do that as well so if we go back to the admin panel and we go to settings manage logo then what we can do is we can actually upload a new logo we click on the image and we upload the logo name it and then click add logo now you need to actually click the status to make that logo available now if we go into settings site configuration we scroll down to where the logo is we change to the logo we want we click update now if we go back to our site and we refresh it again we see our new logo appears now it doesn't look so good on the blue background so let's go ahead and change that as well so in here under the settings again we're just going to come down here and let's see let's go with gold and let's change the menu to gold as well and let's update that and go back and take a look now if we refresh the page again we've got green on gold looks really good and we've got our entire store laid out here a couple other quick important points you can generate viral traffic on every single one of these pages because all of these social icons appear on every page and anytime a visitor clicks on any of them it links new visitors right back to the page they came from so you can get free viral traffic that way in addition to that this is a customizable banner area over here so you could put whatever you want you can add banners you could sell advertising you could do whatever you want in that left section there also you can add as many categories you can add as many products as you want and the beautiful thing about this is they will auto update as products become available or removed from the Amazon marketplace they will automatically update now let me show you how you make money with this so when someone's browsing on your site and they decide they want Big Bang Theory, they click, oh, give me the details. They're going to be taken directly through to Amazon. When they go ahead and buy this product and check out, you get paid commissions through your Amazon affiliate ID. It's that easy to set up your full MyAzon store and customize it just that fast.